this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? This sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Beauty in happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Yep, and his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. 
I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Colin and his brothers. Yeah, that's her, all right. A long time ago. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. It's time that changed. Blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me. Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yep, yeah, it'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince 
Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. swings a lamp at a guy. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. in there, okay? Hey, Toad! You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Your lock's busted. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. 
Christ's sake, the fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. to get a dustpan one of these days. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Fresh. Oh, well, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother anything now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Poker. Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things have been, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? So you're telling me he left a toy here? Long enough for me to be able to tell when it's been taken away. 
Well, he forgets about them, you know, because he has so many. Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Taking Stephen's album yet? You don't have spares? Separate key under the mat or something? In this neighborhood? Are you off your rocker? If it ain't chained to me billfold, the mungy rats will take it away as soon as they catch a starlit twinkle. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in me own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, was going there, but... He said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Series. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. I'm 
I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way.